What's going on YouTube? Brian Mann here, Hands-On Auto Training. I'm taking you along for what might be an interesting job. Um, I got a 2018 Ford Fusion that has a used ABS control module in it. Now, I've done a lot of used uh, modules on a lot of different Fords. You can see other YouTube videos and also on the membership site, we have a lot of uh, examples using used modules up there. Um, but I haven't done a 2018 Ford Fusion ABS control module used yet. So it may be uh, identical to the other procedures. It may not be. What I'm thinking ahead of time before I even do anything here is I'm probably going to disconnect the ABS control module so it is not on a network. It's not communicating. As I go ahead and ID the vehicle, uh, we'll hook up IDS, uh, basically start a session of PMI without that module on the network. And then once it uh, says to install the module, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug it in and we'll see what happens. Let's take a look. All right, so I wanna show you guys what this is looking like before we do anything here. If I start this vehicle up, uh, we do have a ABS light that's flashing very fast. I wanna do a pre-scan on this vehicle. Um, also, I wanna ID it without uh, IDing that module. I don't wanna pull any identification information off of this uh, module. So I'm trying to debate on which way I wanna go here. Usually I like to disconnect the ABS control module uh, before I start a session so we don't pull the information off the use module, but this thing is buried. Um, I think maybe if I move the battery out of the way, I may be able to access this easily. I'll just take out this little eight millimeter head bolt, slide the battery back. I may be able to get in there and uh, disconnect it. Take this out of the way. See if we get any movement. Oh yeah, hey, that was awesome. That worked out pretty nice. So I think I can sneak my hand down there. Uh, you might be able to see that is the ABS connector down there. And the lighting's kind of goofy, but uh, we do have that disconnected. Maybe you can see that connector down there. It is loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a session of IDS now. I also meant to tell everybody I'm running a top down 90,000 series uh, tornado battery charger maintainer. This thing's pretty sweet. I like it because uh, on the supply mode, which we have the light blinking right now, if I just hit and press and hold the start, it'll go ahead and start up. I do like it because I can monitor the voltage and it shows me the amperage. And also it keeps track of the hours, or uh, should I say, the time that you've been charging a battery in tenths of an hour. So uh, nice feature there. So, so far this has been pretty good. I'm still working on uh, reorganizing my pack out so I can hold it in there. I had a ProLogic charger before and here we're going to go ahead and start our IDS software up. Make sure we're recording here. And start a new session. My key is in the run position. Now once this is all ID'd up, I am going to go ahead and run a, uh, a complete vehicle DTC scan even though uh, I know that module's not plugged in, so we're gonna have all kinds of communication codes and stuff going on with the ABS control module. Um, but uh, at this point, I'm gonna verify that the VIN number is proper, and it is, and uh, we'll just do our uh, pre-scan report. We'll do a self-test, all CMDTCs. And there we go. The reason I want to do this is to make sure we have a uh, good baseline of any other issues that might be going on with the vehicle. I do understand, like I said, with the ABS control module disconnected, we're going to have all kinds of codes for that. But if there's something else going on, we want to document that so we don't get on the hook for it, if you know what I mean. And as I said, this is a used module, so I really don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, it looks like this is maybe even an auction car, possibly, or yeah, maybe a dealer, dealer car. I'm not sure. Who really knows, but we're gonna find out. Okay, so. Lost communication with ABS. Invalid data received from PCM. Lost communication with ABS. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and do our module programming. Then we're gonna go over to the PMI, Programmable Module Installation of our ABS control module. And our ignition switch is in non position. Once again, we're gonna verify our VIN is proper, 25622, that is good. Hit the check mark. I really don't know, guys, what is going on with the latest uh, updates for Ford IDS, but the last couple of updates 
uh, it's been getting slower and slower to uh, copy the information from the network when the IDS software goes online to forward servers. Seems like it's getting longer and longer of a wait, but uh, it's attempting to copy the data from the network right now. So we'll see what happens here. All right, so the diagnostic tool is unable to obtain valid part numbers for vehicle. Would you like to try using the as-built database? Of course you would. Yes, and we are connected. Now it's going to look for some more. Okay, ensure the following action has been taken. Set the ignition on, and my ignition is on. So let's see what they say here. Turn ignition off. And our ignition's off. Install a new module. All right. That's what I was looking for. So at this point, I'm going to reach down here and see if I can't get this thing plugged back in. Not a lot of room to work here. Okay, we're all plugged in there. And we'll go over here and hit the check mark. Got the ignition on. And yes, set the ignition off. And once again, we'll go ahead and turn the ignition on. Check. And if everything goes good, we're going to start programming. That's what we're looking for. And let's see the time here. It's uh, 121. All right. Perfect. And we're at 122. It didn't take too long. We're going to go automatic as built. That uh, links us right up to Ford's website. So it, they take care of the baloney on the back end. That's the that's the best way to do it if you have the option. Okay, this program module installation is complete. I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this just because I like to have this for my records. And we'll hit the check mark. And we'll go ahead and turn this key back off. And check okay so we have some stuff to do here uh, we have to run the uh, electronic uh, park brake apply and release we have to go ahead and uh, do the valve calibration the IVD initialization so we're gonna go ahead and do these functions let's do it so we're gonna hit the check mark actually I'm gonna take a picture of this page just so I don't forget pictures always worth a thousand words in my opinion all right, so we're going to hit the check mark. Here is our programming calibration it's complete, or the calibration that we put into the vehicle and all that stuff. So we'll save a picture of that as well. Hit the check mark. Now for this part, we're going to go ahead over here to the uh, toolbox. We're going to go to chassis, braking. And I believe this is everything that we have to do. Here's our integrated uh, parking brake. We want to do a apply and release test. And we'll hit the continue button. And it says set the ignition on. It is on. All right, that's complete. Awesome. And we'll go right back to that red toolbox. Now we're going to go to our, uh, let's see what, what the order was that they listed that stuff. I didn't pay enough attention. And I had a phone call I had to take. You know how that goes. So what was that order? So they want us to do the uh, electronic park brake apply and release, which we did. And then we have to do a valve calibration, then the IVD. So now we'll go ahead to our valve calibration, hit the check mark. 
Let's see. Yep, 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 yep. Yes. We'll do both of these, the inlet valve calibration. That was successful, perfect. And now we'll do an isolation valve calibration. Hit the check mark. And when this is happening, um, you may be able to hear it if I stand close with a mic here. Uh, you can actually hear a little clicking in the ABS control module. And that was successful. Hit the check mark. Now I'll hit the exit button. Set the ignition off. Check. And now we gotta do our IVD initialization. Once again, it's underneath the red toolbox in IVD initialization sequence. And yes. Now if you guys need to know more about setting up IDS, running IDS software, I do have a lot of uh, good stuff on the membership site. We're gonna go ahead and hit the check mark here. Um, I have a complete download of either, uh, whether you wanna do FJDS or IDS, we've got it up there on the membership site. You can check that out. So far, this uh, job here looks like it's going pretty well. Um, I didn't think about all those extra procedures at the very end that we'd have to do, but uh, we'll check here and see if we have any codes in a second. Turn the ignition back off. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on all of our DTCs. I'm gonna clear them all out. Do our self-test, all CM DTCs. Like I said, I like this topped on uh, charger because you can see here we got four tenths of an hour so far into this job. Uh, so that'd be 24 minutes so far into it. These jobs take a little bit longer than uh, standard programming jobs. Uh, at least I'd say that the programming jobs have changed in the past 10 years. They used to be quite easy, now they're getting more difficult. Guys, as you see here, we do have all these code setting that are uh, previously stored. Fault was previously detected, not currently present. That's good. We're going to take a look at this all these going through here so at this point what i'd like to do is we're going to clear them out make sure this one's too also previously detected not currently present that's great we're going to hit the clear button clear them all out and then uh, we're going to have this thing started up and run to have the customer take it for a test drive guys i don't recommend doing used modules but sometimes you have no choice it's on back order from ford you can't even get one if you have any questions about this type of uh, work, be sure to check out handsonautotraining.com. I got a lot of good stuff on a membership site. It's only $10 a month to have access to it. And uh, we're going to see you make sure you come up with a clean bill of health here. Also, the uh, vehicle is getting scanned, but I want you guys to see that we do not have that flashing ABS light just with the key on engine off like we had before. So that is a good thing. We're looking pretty good, I believe. Let's go take a look at those codes. Are we up there yet? Still scanning. All right, guys, uh, we can look like we've got ourselves a clean bill of health. You see that? We're going to also take a uh, snapshot of this information. You guys know you can go over to this part of the uh, Ford IDS. you got a complete log of what's going on. We're going to copy that, paste it to the work order. You guys take it easy. If you like this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, ring that notification bell. Bye-bye.